Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBS. Finally, we had a quick question today. Uh, we were asked how in a user form, which I'll go ahead and pull up a user form and basically just put a text box in here. Uh, this person said that they had a text box, let's just say it was called TB date, like this. And whenever the user form began, not a click, let's do a user form initialize. Basically, in the user form initialize, when the user form opens up, they have they know how to do something like me, me being the user form itself, me dot tb date the, the text box we just did equals date. So date is uh, VBA's default thing for basically today's date. So if I ran this user form uh, when it initializes, this text box right here would be equal to today's date. So I'll show you that. And sure enough, it pops into the text box just fine. I'm going to close it out. But what he wants it to do is to go to Monday. So today is Tuesday, but he wants it to go to the beginning of the current week. So what, what we're going to do in this case is we'll just do a very simple loop that's going to, if today's date, if today's weekday is not equal to, let's see, what would Monday be? Sunday is 1. Monday would be a 2. So... Uh, if it's not equal to the weekday of today's date is not equal to 2, uh, then take today's date and minus 1, and we'll just loop that until it works out. So let's just show you that. So instead of doing this, let's say we'll just put, uh, we'll use a variable like my date. That way we can play around with this. My date equals start out with today's date, and we'll analyze it. So forget this right here. So we can say if this variable that contains a date, if that one currently it would just be today's date. So we want the weekday. Let's is that a? I'm not sure if that's a built-in uh, VBA thing, or oh, so I didn't know if I needed to put application dot worksheet function dot, or if it's just a built-in one. It looks like it's a built-in one. So it'll this will give me the weekday of that and. By default, uh, Sunday is the first day of the week. So you could say if weekday of that equals, uh, you could say VB Monday, it looks like. Or you could use the index number of 2, because Sunday is 1, uh, Monday is 2, Tuesday is 3, and etc. So you could say 2, and that would be the same value. And of course, we need an end if for our if then statement. So if the weekday of our current date, which we know is today's date at first, is equal to 2, then um, let's just do a, a loop first of all. I should have done this first off. So we're going to do for x equals, let's say, how many times do we need this to loop? Let's just do 8. I, I think seven would cover it but I don't really feel like messing with it because once we complete our goal it, the loop will end anyways next X alright so here we have a loop going from one all the way to eight and X is the number that that uh, goes from one to eight doesn't really matter what we're gonna say is if the weekday of our current date that we're analyzing is equal to two it's, so it's a Monday then great. Then we'll just uh, exit the sub and we'll plop that into the text box. So me.tbdate is going to be equal to the variable that contains our date we're looking for. Now I'm going to put an else, which means otherwise. So on in all other cases, when the weekday of my date is not equal to Monday, the index number two, then the else would be my date equals itself basically my date and we're going to subtract one from that so my date will now equal my date minus one well my date minus one would be yesterday if it's currently today and then um, so let's see how this does we're going to uh, hit F8 and let's see so uh, date we know is today's date so if we hit F8, that will carry over into this thing called my date, which is just a custom variable. X is going to be equal to 1 to 8. It doesn't matter about X, really, except that this is the first time we're looping through of 8 times to loop. So the weekday of my date, um, 
So let's see, is that 2? No, it isn't, so it goes to the else. So my date is going to be equal to itself minus 1, which would be 223 of 2015. And sure enough, it subtracts one whole day from there. So now my date is different. So is the weekday of that one a Monday or equal to 2? Let's see. Yes, yesterday was Monday. So all we have to do is, and actually I need to exit sub at that point. And exit sub just basically tells your macro to not keep looping for no reason, but rather the, to just skip to the ending right here. So the text box is going to be equal to the current date we're looking at, and that's it. Now, Monday will show up. So that's basically how to do that. Um, uh, just for fun, let's jazz it up with a couple labels here. Since this is such a short lesson, I'll just say Monday here, uh, or let's say, we'll say date, and then let's put like a label right here that will put whatever the name of the weekday is that we select whenever we do any changing on this. So let's put a change event in here, and we'll say on error, resume next. That means if anything weird is happening, we'll uh, just keep on going basically. So we're going to just analyze the date that's in that text box there over into that label, which I need to give a nice friendly name, I think. We'll call it LBL weekday for a label for the weekday. All right, so whenever this is this text box, any changes occur, we're going to reanalyze and see if we can get the weekday. So we can uh, we can do that one of a couple ways. We're going to say uh, me dot label weekday is equal to uh, we'll use the format function. We want to format whatever is in me dot text box date. So whatever the date is, we want to format that comma. And here's the formatting. Put a quotation mark, and let's just do. Uh, if you put day, D for day, so put D, D, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you this uh, all three ways. I'm going to spell it out all the way with four D's. So let's show you that really quick. So it shows up as Monday. Now what if I put the 25th? It would say Wednesday. Now, Remember, that was Wednesday. If I put three Ds, it should just be W-E-D or T-H-U or M-O-N. Uh, it's just similar to when you uh, click on a cell and you choose the formatting, custom formatting that you want. So if I do two Ds, it would just show the 23rd. And if I put one D, for the single digit ones, it would just put... Uh, it still say 23rd, but instead of saying 01 for the first of the month, it would just say 1. But if I had two Ds, it would say 01. So we'll just put four Ds there. And then whatever date is chosen. So it'll start off by always having Monday because we just put that in the initialize routine, even though today's Tuesday. But if we want to change that, we certainly can. So let's do 225.15. And you notice that if it's an error, it kind of just copies over whatever's in there. So if you wanted it to be blank whenever that happens, uh, well, we're not going to go in that, over that in this video. I think that's enough. What we'll do is we're going to go ahead and save this workbook as a macro-enabled workbook. And I'm going to save it in my special Dropbox link, which I will, uh, which you have in the video description for all my videos. It's in my Excel VBA is fun shared workbook folder, which is available for immediate download as soon as I click save right now. So uh, we'll see you next time, and thanks so much for watching, and God bless. Okay, so one final thought. We're going to save this uh, workbook, and it's going to be called Textbox Displays Monday Automatically for the Current Week. Dot .xlsm, so if you want to run a search on that folder, you can hit Control F whenever you go to the website to look through my folder there. Uh, and of course you hit Alt F11 to bring up this user form. Just double click here and hit the play button. 
and you'll be allowed to and able to play around with that and of course this is open source so you can go in there and click on whatever and play with it and save it on your hard drive and just make it your own you can plagiarize the heck out of it because it's just a really really basic user form anyway thanks again